So today I have a first impressions for you and it's on the new L'Oreal Paris 2 Match Lumi Cushion Buildable Luminous Foundation and I got the shade W5.5. I'm pretty excited to try this out. I just love this time because I feel like all the new products are coming out and I'm like, yeah. So I'm pretty excited to try this out because I love foundations. So before I play with this, I'm going to go in with my Rimmel Fix and Perfect Pro Primer. So going in with the primer, I'm just going to massage it in my face. Okay, now opening this, I am really excited. Okay, so opening it up, this is how it looks. Ooh, it comes with a really fancy mirror. And it comes with this pad right here. Okay, and then I like how the foundation itself has a seal. So opening up the foundation. So odd. I'm gonna zoom in. So this is how it looks. That is so weird. Ah, that is so awesome. That, that is so freaking cool. Okay, that is like the coolest thing I have ever seen. I was told by the person that works at Walgreens that's in like in the beauty section she said using this you're gonna soak up so much product that she recommends using a beauty blender so I'm just gonna see how it is with this and then I'm gonna use my beauty blender I'm just gonna use this okay so I'm just gonna okay I'm just gonna do it in dabbing motions I don't want to just like spread it This is pretty cool. But I can kind of see what she means when she says like it all just like soaks up. So I'm going to try a beauty blender. Oh yeah, beauty blender you get so much more. Okay, I am in love. This is so freaking awesome. I just love how it's just like, you know, like you feel like a badass, just like pop, pop. And it's just foundation. And it goes on so smooth. The color matched me perfect, W5.5. Perfect, 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 perfect. And it covered a lot. I felt like this, I got more coverage, the Beauty Blender, than I got with this little pad. You see, I just feel like it was soaking it up. Look at that. For this, I would have to say pass, like don't use it, but if you need to, like little touch-ups, then okay. But this, so much, and it picks up so much more, and I keep just wanting to play with it. It feels on my face, it doesn't feel heavy, it feels amazing. I really like it. And it covered so much. Okay, so, I would even wear this foundation solo this is such amazing coverage where i feel like i don't even have to like cover my bags because i am kind of like purple right here it is amazing it's been a while since i fallen in love with a foundation because i'm usually like very loyal you know and i'm like i don't want to try any other foundations but girl <laughs> this is amazing so let me just finish with the whole highlighting because you know, I have to highlight and contour. So I'm gonna apply Jordana Complete Coverage Maximum 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 Coverage 2-in-1 Concealer and this Golden Beige. This is a concealer and a foundation, but I use it as a concealer because I could not find my shade. So a little bit goes a long way. Holy crap, you guys. This you gotta try this foundation. Like I am so hyped up right now because it seriously wowed me. So Oh my goodness, it just, my skin feels so good right now. Like, you know how some foundations like sometimes make your face feel heavy? Well, this feels amazing. Like, it it looks like good skin. Like, it looks like your skin. It, you don't look caked up or nothing. Like, it looks really good. I'm so glad I tried it. Okay, now going in with Airspun. I'm going to apply some loose powder underneath my eyeballs. I'm going in with my L'Oreal True Match Powder. This one is W8. I like using this one to contour. So.
Now I'm just gonna clean up under my eyes. Okay, now I'm gonna contour my nose with the same powder. This is the Beauty Junkies Angled Brush. I'm just gonna place on my nose. Now, if my foundation looks like it's too dark, it's because of all the lights. I know sometimes I get some comments when I'm applying my foundation. The person is like, honey, that shade is too dark for you. No, it's not. It's the lights. If I would go a lighter shade, I would look like a pendeja because I would not match at all. It's just the lights. So, um, I will enter a picture at the end of the video so you guys can see, like, oh, okay, it does match. So, just wanted to throw that out there because there is a few comments where a person is telling me, like, well, I work here, and that's not your shade, and I'm like, yes, it is. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, let's keep going. Now, going in with my Too Faced Little Black Book of Bronzers, I'm going to go in with this shade right here, the Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Tan. I'm going to go in with that shade. Okay, so this is a new product I want to try out and highlight my face with. This is the Wet n Wild Illuminating Palette, and this is Catwalk Pink. Catwalk Pink. I don't know why it sounded weird. Okay, so. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this, and we're going to highlight our face. Okay. <gasps> this is so pretty. Let's just do some swatches real quick. I know this isn't part of the video, but let's just do some swatches. Ooh, look at that so pigmented do you see that nice so i'm gonna go in with the morphe m509 i'm gonna pick up this champagne wow that was really powdery okay and now i'm just gonna place it right there oh that is pretty i want to look like my cheeks are sweating my face cheeks okay that would be nasty now I'm gonna set my face going in with the Mario Badascu it's just oh it smells so good okay okay now for the lips I'm gonna go in with L'Oreal Pro Matte Gloss and this is the shade Statement Nude This is like a mousse texture and it's matte. It looks matte. It is matte. But it's not like a liquid lipstick matte. It's not like a liquid lipstick matte, which is... Mm, it's okay. I was expecting it to be a liquid lipstick, but we'll see how it wears throughout the day. So here is the foundation. I'm loving it. It just looks so nice. Doesn't look cakey. I'm very, very pleased with it. Yes. Okay, so it's 10.48 a.m. I'm going to continue to wear the foundation throughout the day and the lipstick. And let's see how it holds up. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited because I want it to last all day because I really love the way it looks. It looks very, very nice. So, stay tuned. Okay, so I'm checking in with you guys. It is now... It is now 4.54 p.m. So far, it looks good. has not moved at all. Looks nice. Highlight still there. Highlight still there. Only thing that disappeared was the lips, which is okay because I'll just put on some lip gloss. And I knew it was going to just fall right off because it's a mousse texture. It's not a liquid lipstick. So not too really disappointed with that because I already knew from applying that it wasn't going to last. I was just hoping it was, but it didn't, but that's okay. So far, foundation is amazing. I love it. So let's see if it holds up to the end of the night. Okay, my hair is kind of messy. Cleaning, cooking, all that good stuff. Okay, it is now 12.16. It is now 12.16 midnight. So let me zoom into my face. Okay, you guys see? No cakiness, no nothing. Still looks good. Nothing, no cakiness. Yes! So no cakiness, no nothing. It still looks good. I 100% recommend this beautiful foundation the l'oreal true match lumi it is amazing i love it and i was really tripping out when it said it was a cushion because i like opening it just to show you guys i've been opening it since earlier i just think it's just so cool like look at that like 
it's awesome I love it I wouldn't recommend using this at all I feel like it just soaked it up more I feel like the beauty blender was amazing because you just pronounce it in there and you just do it all your face and it picks up more product works amazing with the beauty blender love it overall I think the foundation lasted a very long time the highlight is still on popping love it like it looks really really nice up combination skin so it worked out amazing for me i love this foundation 10 out of 10 it is amazing give it a try seriously hands down i am really really impressed and the wet and wild highlight stayed on so yeah yeah so i hope you guys enjoy it leave me a comment down below if you have tried this out or let me know what is your favorite drugstore foundation i would love to know see that i would love to know thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Mm -hmm. Besos a todos and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.